Hello YouTube! <laughs> Welcome back to another exciting Cooking with Dinoy episode where we recycle this $4.50 Walmart rotisserie chicken that I bought. I think we're on day number three now. This is three days and I still have the chicken. We still only have used like one third of the chicken. Maybe half, but probably one third. So what we're going to do today is um, make uh, ramen noodle soup with it. Chicken ramen noodles. So it even has chicken flavoring on it, so that's great. But we got real chicken. So I, I usually use two packets when I eat it by myself because I'm kind of a pig. <laughs> Instead of just eating one, I make two. And, but I'm going to go ahead and make the ramen noodle soup um, and tell you some ingredients you could put in, alternate ingredients that I'm not putting in. But we're going to be using the chicken as a, the meat. And I um, also want to point out, you know, you could just... Take the chicken breast and cut it up if you wanted to. And you didn't want like Asian food or whatever. You just cut that up into slices. Put it on bread. Put on lettuce, onion, tomato, and mayonnaise and whatnot. And you got a sandwich. <laughs> you could even make a Subway sandwich. Chicken sandwich if you wanted to. So there's a lot of things you can do with chicken. Especially when it's pre-cooked. So, you know, what I'm showing you just some of the ideas. Just to give you ideas if you haven't thought about it. But I uh, just want to point out the obvious. You could just use it, you know, by slicing the chicken into um, chicken breast strips or, or chicken breast, um, I guess, like flat pieces and stuff. You could use it to make sandwiches, although we're not going to do that. So for today, what I'm doing is I'm just boiling up some water. See, the water is uh, boiling. And I'll be throwing in the, uh, the ramen chicken, I mean, the ramen noodles, which, you know, it says chicken flavoring, but that's their chicken flavoring is in the package. Okay, and I'll be adding a little bit, although, although you really don't need to add it because we got our own chicken and stuff. But I'll add some just for um, a little bit of saltiness because I'm not going to add salt or anything else. But uh, to bring out the zing, I am going to be throwing in some um, peppers. I have four Thai chili peppers and also a couple slices of onion. And, of course, our spring mix, which we've been using. That's also a couple days old. Bought it, I think, the same time I bought the chicken, so it's about three or four days old. Um, I'm going to use it all up. So, this is a really simple meal to prepare. Cost is probably going to be less than a dollar for the serving. Even though it's going to be a decent sized serving. And if you're getting this in a restaurant, you're looking at 6 to $10. Okay, so, a really great way to save money and stretch your, um, your chicken out. <laughs> I guess, uh, I guess stretch your budget by using the, uh, the rotisserie chicken over several different meals. So stay tuned. I am going to go ahead and get the mount so you can see me working here. All right. I've uh, removed the packaging from the noodles. And the first thing you do is just basically boil the noodles. You know, I got the water in there. And I'm just going to plop the noodles in there. And let it sit and soften up. Should take only a few minutes. While that's going on, I'm just going to prepare the rest of it. Now, you could plop this directly into the um, the pot that's cooking right now. But what I'm going to do is, because I don't like my um, greens becoming too soft, I'm going to put it into my bowl for serving already. So I'm just going to put some uh, greens in here. And I'm going to pour it, you know, the, the soup and stuff into it when I get done. And while that's going on right now... I'll be ripping up the chicken, and so let me get this thing mounted after I uh, chop up the other ingredients. So we're going to set this aside a little bit, okay, I'm going to, because this is kind of limited space, I do need to clear the workspaces I'm uh, cooking, I'm putting up the, uh, the salad right now, wash my hands again, move this. And what we're going to do is just prepare the, the peppers and, and the onions. So I'm going to cut up the onions right now. Now, I don't need the whole onion on this, so I'm going to save this onion for another meal. But I am going to cut, like, a slice. Like that. I think that should be enough. Right there. So I'm going to cut this slice. Remove the outer peel, the outer layer here. And I think I have enough onions there. Maybe I'll do another slice. I'll do a second slice since it is fresh. We're going to go ahead and cut a second slice. So we got plenty of onions. That way that outer layer. So we got all that onion ready to go. And I, some people like to cook onion because when you cook onion, it gets kind of soft and a little bit sweet. But for me, 
I like it kind of um, hard, you know, um, like a salad almost. So I'm just going to toss it in here like that with the, because um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to let it cook, cook. I'm just going to let it heat up a little bit when the hot water, when we pour the hot water on it. So when I go to eat it, it's still going to be kind of um, raw almost because I kind of like it like that. And that's pretty much it for that. So we're just continuing to wait for that thing to heat up. Make sure this is all on. It's on max. The uh, the one thing I, I've noticed is with uh, the electric burner, it actually takes longer to heat things up and cook than it does the, uh, the butane system. So if you want to cook things really fast, you probably want to continue using propane or butane. But if you want to do it for free because you have free electricity, <laughs> Nothing beats uh, using the electric skillet, uh, the electric thingy burner here, as far as uh, price-wise. Now, while that's going on, clamp this guy down here. What we're gonna do is uh, set this aside, because we don't need the onion right now. We're gonna set that aside to save it. And I'm gonna cut up the peppers. So, the interesting thing you're going to notice, or you may have already noticed about everything, is that I generally use the same ingredients almost, like over and over in the various dishes that I cook up. Makes uh, cooking really easy. <laughs> and you're like, well, but you're using the same stuff, aren't you eating the same things? Kind of. But if you think about it, like even like Mexican food, they make burritos, tacos, uh, what, tamales or whatever. They all use like pretty much the same ingredients over and over taco salad it's just uh, rearranging it you know how they put it together the order that they put it together and whether or not they cook it so or how they cook it what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting up my peppers like as if I was making the pepper sauce but I'm not gonna make pepper sauce this time because I'm having noodles and basically I just take this and I'm gonna dump it right into this and you're like, what do you mean? Well, just like this. I'm, I'm going to put that right in there. Just like that. And then, the, the next thing we need is our chicken. Which is right here. Let me show you the chicken. Chicken is already done. But, um, what we're going to do is actually take some of it. So I'm just going to break off a chunk. Chunk of nice pre-cooked chicken breast. And I'm going to rip it into little pieces. You know, just bite-sized chunks. Doesn't really matter, but just like bite size. And then what I will do is just dump it into here. So I'm basically just taking my chicken and making it into bite-sized pieces and dumping it into the, um, the pot. And that's pretty much it. I'm like, well, why are you cooking the chicken? I think it helps to soften it and also make it like, um, take, I guess it brings back almost like a, I'm gonna eat this one as a snack. But I think dumping the chicken in there makes it like, um, almost like it was freshly cooked. So basically, I'm ripping this chicken, putting it into the, uh, the bowl. I know you're not seeing it right now, but I'm putting some meat in there. And that's pretty much it. And we still have all the chicken left over. Probably half the chicken or more. So, we'll put the chicken up. It's the lid off. And we still got another meal or two. We could probably even make more meals out of this, but I'm gonna say I could probably make one more meal, maybe two, probably two or three if I really wanted to. But for me personally, I'm probably gonna make one, maybe two, and um, continue to stretch our budget out. All right. Uh, so as you can see, the the noodles are heating up. It is soft. Remember that the chicken was already cooked, so all we're doing really is just softening the noodles themselves. And I'm basically just letting the water, the hot water here, 
soften the noodles, which should take only like a minute or two. Now, if you wanted to really make this like a true like uh, Asian type stuff, you know, dish like noodles, you might want to add like um, eggs. You like um, fry up some eggs or boil up some eggs, boil up some eggs and, and cut it into slices and throw it in there. But I'm not going to do that today. I am, however, going to add this packet. I've ripped it off. And I could pour it in here, but I'm going to pour it onto this. And I think I use like half a packet, maybe a little bit more than half. Because I'm not going to be adding um, fish sauce and stuff. Normally, if I was adding fish sauce, I would not do that. I would not use the packet at all. But because I'm out of fish sauce, I went ahead and used the flavoring, which has salt in it. So we're going to stir this up a little bit. And I think it's pretty much done. I still see that some of the noodles is a little bit stiff, but most of it is done. And I'm going to shut off the, um, the unit. So what we're going to do is go ahead and move it to the, the plate, pour it together, and show you what the final product looks like. All right, so we got, we got our noodles here. I'm simply just going to pour it right into it, right on top. Hopefully I didn't over make it. Looks like I got it just the right amount. So that's been poured. All right. So I poured the noodles in there. And all I'm going to do is now is just let it mix up. You know, mix it up with the fork here. And the, the veggies, the salad and stuff, is kind of cooking right now from the heat. So it's softening up even more. But you can use, like, any vegetables. You could even use, like, frozen vegetables and stuff. But if you're going to use, like, the frozen vegetables, which you've seen me do in the past, I usually put that into the um, the pot, you know, while the noodles are cooking, while the water's boiling, to make sure that the, um, the veggies... Make sure that the vegetables um, thaw out. Now, to give it a little bit more zing, I am going to add some lemon. I have a big, huge thing of lemon, but I'm just going to add a little bit. Probably the equivalent of about a, a, a teaspoon of lemon, maybe a little bit more, like a couple squeezes of lemon. And that'll make it taste a little bit um, sour. So you get that sour, hot taste. You can see our pepper chunk in there and our meat. And this is looking really good. It's a very simple meal that because the chicken was already cooked, should take, you know, and if you're using like a salad bag or frozen vegetables, which are already cut and done, this should take about five or ten minutes at the most to make. And I'm going to have it with a little bit of soda. Of course, I'm in front of the, the TV, but I'm not really watching anything today. I'm just going to eat and then go try to do some work. But um, let's go ahead and do a little taste test here. So we got our little salad. A little piece of chicken. And let's let's see what this tastes like. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. That's so good. I can taste the pepper. Mmm. It's like turning a um a ten cent meal, twenty cent meal into something that would be worth like uh, 10 20 dollars mm. definitely worth making what's really good about it is um it's kind of a comfort food for most asians the the ramen noodles nice and warm and wet Contrasted by the um, crunchiness of the, um, the onions, the onion rings that I've cut. And the greens are just great. Mm. I love it. So there you see, we, there's another way that we have uh, come up with to use the uh, leftover rotisserie chicken. And then um, for the next one, I think I'm going to try to do something a little bit different. So, until next time, everyone, I hope you're eating well. Take advantage of um, a refrigerator or freezer if you have it so that you can store uh, food for reuse later and leftovers. I hope that this is giving some ideas. As for me, 
I'm totally enjoying the ability to be able to buy rotisserie chicken, you know, and use it for like almost a whole week. So no, next time, everyone, take care. God bless you all. Please stay safe. Bye-bye now.